I'm Mike Sullivan, and today I want to show you a very simple little video about how a simple tool, like a long stick or a broom handle or this piece of PVC, can help you play better golf. So I wanted to show you a really simple way that you can use a broomstick, or this is a piece of one inch PVC, I think it is, one and a quarter inch, excuse me, PVC. And, and the reason I'm showing you this sort of a drill without using a golf club is because sometimes when people try to do um, motion drills or how can we say, uh, motor pattern drills, when they use a golf club, they let some of their bad golf habits seep into the drill. And when you're using a stick like this, it's very unlikely that, that that's gonna happen, okay? So let's talk about the biggest factor with using this device, and here it is. So I'm just gonna grip down, I'm not letting the end of the tube hit the ground, I know you can't see that, but up here I've got part of the tube extending past the side of my body. So it's way up here past me. And I'm just gonna make a little swing, and I'm not gonna let the tube hit me. So if you're a perfect motion user, if you like to use the Perfect Motion app, and you're, th you're getting the, um, the fault that you are, need to add side bend at impact, watch this. So in order to avoid hitting myself with, this, with the end of this stick, I've got to turn through, and it helps me to add that side bend at at impact. So just by swinging this sort of a stick, a long stick, it can help you with improving side bend. And what is that going to help you do in your golf game? Well, if you don't have enough side bend, if you're coming through this way, you're going to have a path that goes out to in. You're probably hitting pulls and slices. So this can help you with your swing path and help you get rid of pulls and slices. The other one is this. It's the same exact drill, but look what it does for my impact position as far as keeping my hands ahead of that club head. So if I don't turn through this so that this end misses my hip and my rib cage, and I do that, I'm gonna hit myself in the side. So if you're hitting thin shots, hitting fat shots, when you hit them solid, there's no divot and they're kind of high and weak, well, you may be getting a little, and I'm gonna grip on this end, you may be letting that club sneak past your hands and get a little scoopy. This is gonna, this is gonna help you with that. All right, and another uh, motion drill, and this is one of my friend, uh, Mike Collins, I see him doing this all the time on Instagram, so hopefully I'm doing it right, okay? Put this thing right behind your shoulders. You're gonna set up, give yourself a little bit of this, call it secondary spine tilt. See how I'm kind of tilted this way? And I'm gonna just keep this up here, and this gives me a sense of how my shoulders are turning. And I want to get my left shoulder under my chin as my right shoulder gets up above my left shoulder, right? So this is gonna help me with that turn. I can really feel, you can get a good stretch out of this, and by the way, as you're doing this, try to feel that pressure in your backswing moving into your, into your right heel. This can help you out with the perfect motion fault of a sway, actually. So whether or not you're using the perfect motion, these drills, these are just three of them you can do with a long stick to help you get better at golf. And by the way, if you have got some ideas for how you could use a stick like this, something you do, just leave a comment. I'll reply and I'll maybe even make a video with your long stick drill tip. I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.